Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Neon Abyss, a game that I've played before, absolutely loved, and can't wait to play the... Is this the full version? Are they launching early access or not? This... I think this might be a full version, yeah. It'll be interesting to see if they actually do post-launch support for this one. I kind of hope they do, just because usually post-launch support on roguelikes is pretty sweet. Looking at you, Isaac, and... Gungeon, though Gungeon was kind of early access. I don't know. Anyway, gonna quick zip through a lot of the the basic settings for a second. Not too much. Turned off screen shake. Left on seed display. If any of you guys pick this up, you can play alongside. Uh, yeah, not much there. It's pretty basic, but that's what happens with a game like this. And let's get going. So I played the beta. Well, okay, I played a lot of versions of this, but first, my friend, the enemy of my enemy. I'm Hades. Titan Group took most of my powers and destroyed your family. I need fighters like you to end Titan's reign. If you seek revenge, drink it. Well, I don't drink weird things from strangers, so I guess this series just ends preemptively. Can I, like, go anywhere else? <laughs> no. Oh, yep, clicking even does it. I was really hoping there'd be some way to, like, reject it. But I guess not! Alright, uh, let's see, here we go. So, this is going to be fairly derivative of a lot of different roguelikes that you're probably used to. Uh, oh, the longer you press, the higher you jump. That's actually really helpful. Uh, so this might look a lot like Isaac, but as a side-scrolling platformer, that's largely because it kind of is. Uh, which is kind of cool. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of other side things. This is kind of what I wanted out of... Uh, this is kind of what I wanted out of Exit the Gungeon. With, you know, big en enemy item synergies. Uh, a eggs. Yep, these are going to be fairly unsurprising. Yes, this is not jump and shoot, man. I can actually shoot at weird angles. Whatever angle I want, in fact. Doesn't mean I'm going to hit anything, just because accuracy is a problem, but still. Gosh, I keep turning this game game down and it's still loud. This is a tragedy. Uh, let's see. But I'm trying to think of anything else to describe it as. But really the answer is, yeah, it is just going to seem very similar to a lot of roguelikes. Just kind of mashed together as its own beast. Uh, but it's got a lot of, like, item synergies and stuff. Okay, active item. We got Terry. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay. So, I didn't realize this gun had an active ability as well. Well, alright, sure. Let's see, you need more practice in master throwing bombs. Use them to blast apart these stones. Well, that was... Let's see, at least I've got a uh, silly amount of grenades for this. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to get these. Egg. And triggerfish. As a dream, active get an egg. Ooh. Do I want active for flight or active egg? I think active egg, eggs, will hatch into different pets as your adventure continues. Though the process doesn't always result in a success. Yep. Hatching failed. Pretty sure that's the boss. Let's go down first. Oh. Doesn't give me too much of anything. Alright, George got a pills. Sup, Jurg? Okay. I probably should have kept with Terry. Okay. I have my concerns about how the this gun functions. Luckily, the boss doesn't have contact damage, which is actually really huge for me. Ow. Huge, but means nothing. No, that's pretty, that's pretty dang important. I absolutely despise contact damage in like every game I play. It's not fun. There's like a couple where it works. Looking at you, Mario, and pretty much exclusively Mario, in fact. And there's also a melee whoop. 
There's also a melee weapon in this game. I it's probably super obvious, but whenever I get close to an enemy, I will uh I will actually like hit them with a the knife. Which is quite nice. Alright, devil horn. But you increase your weapon damage and melee damage. Don't worry about the sudden sudden craving for flesh. And stay calm while fighting bosses. It's possible to avoid all their attacks. I like that. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be very good at it, but that's cool. Uh, let's see. Requires three crystals. I don't have any. I'm not going to be the greatest at avoiding stuff. It certainly does not help. Oh, maybe maybe enemies do have contact. Some enemies do have contact damage. Well, that's a tragedy. I feel like I should test it with these guys, but I don't want to. At least the boss not having contact damage is big for me. I've played way too many games where it's just like, and you just uh, take damage because this soft looking beast hurt you. It's like, what? That's negative cool. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm going to stay away from it. It looks hurty. Maybe if I was less close to death. Zombie sister. She's poison bullets at enemies. And there's more to that, but I don't know. Okay, what is this thing, and do I need to worry about it? I don't think that was worth it. Okay, I'm just gonna let Zombie Sister do, do her thing. Looks like they'll just fly around and just, like, bully. Well, I have a lot of them, too. Well, that's convenient. I don't know why I have three of them. But I ain't complaining. Alright, so that's the boss. We got a chest. I can warp. Do I have to... I guess I have to be at this. To be able to warp. Small tragedies. Oh, right! These guys drop, uh, balls that split. Wait, I have four zombies now. Alright. Man, I hope I find a new new gun before we go into the boss fight. We're going, we're going to be in a bad place otherwise. I have some money, and there are some crystals there. Yeah, sure, five coins. Uh, I'll think about it. I just hate this gun. Okay. Stay away from the spiky boys. I don't recognize any of this. Aha. There we go. Please have something cool for me. Thank you. Another grenade is worth it. All right, let's go down. I we we are reclaiming my health slowly but surely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now if I had the flying cat, I could actually get up in there. Hello, this is a different gun. So the one thing is this fish gives me eggs. I just don't know if I need it. Hello, weird mask. Forbidden mask. Got promoted and enhanced your stats in all areas. And I'm back up to full health. Yeah. I uh, see. I did mention, by the way, that I... Uh, hmm. <sighs> so used to pressing F to interact with things. All right, we get another key. We get two eggs. That's good. Do I? Yeah, let's let's just grab this gun. Golden Sam. Power's more important than precision. Active. Drop random coins. Yeah, it's probably worth it. All right, let's go back and let's go back and teleport. Let's figure things out. Uh, let's see. So we've got this room. I. If I've got a chain gun that drops random coins, you can probably drop drop cash on more stuff. Maybe we'll be okay. 
There we go. That gives us coin and full crystals. Nice. So, I guess I'm just going to walk back over here. I know we can get into the shop. Does it cost me crystals? Three crystals. Yeah, that's probably reasonable. Let's see what they've got. So, you can buy a little bit. I want to see if I can get ten more coins. Well, it's a useful room. Huh, weird. Alright. Very useful room. Not enough cash to get that cool looking mask thing. So we're just going to work back here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the chest up above. So we're going to fight the boss, and if we're lucky, I can come back and go shopping. And if we're not lucky, oh well. Okay, I understand how this boss works. That does not necessarily mean that I'm going to be capable of avoiding any and all of its attacks. Well, I'm gonna die. Yeah, gonna die. Oh, hello. Uh, so I got one of these. Hidden room. There'd be at least one hidden room on each level of the dungeon. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Oh. Current target. Oh. And this just says one, so there might be more to this. I like this. That's that's a really good... That's a really good system. Okay. Uh, let's see. Characters. So we've got Wade, who starts with a grenade. Anna, that starts with more HP. Matt, Lucas, R6. James, Ming, and Zack. And I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be like a, a launch DLC, a, a pre-order thing. We get to play as two other characters. I don't know how to get them, though. I appreciate that there are a bunch of different characters. All right, we're going to play as Anna. The extra HP is probably going to help me more than nothing. Uh, let's see. Input a seed? Nah. Right? Statue's broken. Down we go! I don't have my mojo yet, so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to uh, before I'm good. And it's also going to take a little while to get used to uh, figuring out the enemy enemy patterns. Enemy patterns and boss patterns. I mean, it's a little bit of both. Okay, one crystal for this. Fills that up, whatever that is. We've got an arena room. But I don't have any grenades to get in there, so we're just going to leave that for later. Also going to determine whether or not that's actually something I want to yeah. invest my time energy into. Okay. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no dodge roll, so I'm kind of limited in that regard. Excuse me. Thank you. These guys are annoying. I'm so good at uh, avoiding their pattern, or their, like, first shot, but then I totally forget. Every single time I've run into them in the past, uh, I totally forget, like, hey, yeah, the bullet splits. And then I just get hit by it anyway. I should probably talk about that a little bit. So I played the beta, beta demo? I played the whatever a couple months ago, and rather enjoyed it, obviously. And then, uh... Kill the flyers if I can. Whoop. Okay. Then we kill this guy. But yeah, played this a couple months back. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Wanted to play more. Uh, and just figured I'd be patient. But before that, I had actually met the developers at PAX a couple years prior. And uh, they were doing like a sort of promotion where it's like, Hey, uh, if you want to... If you beat the demo, we will give you like a wristband thing. I didn't beat the demo. Well, I did. I froze it. Like, I crashed the game so hard they had to reset the machine, so they gave me a wristband anyway. <laughs> that happened a lot. That convention. I was... 
I was a disaster. Oops. Okay, get out of here, you flying jerk. Unfortunately, we don't have any of the good good items or equipment yet. Which is always, I'm not going to say a bit of a letdown. But it's one of those where it's like, I love I love roguelikes. I thoroughly enjoy them. It feels like this level is a lot longer than last one. Uh, or last run. Uh, but I, I love roguelikes dearly. But there is something really painful... Uh, Agent Watch. Every time you pick up a key, your weapon damage will increase. Every time you use a key, it'll decrease. So, the more keys I have, the better off I'm gonna be. Okay. I have a key. We also get the Song of Joy. Gain the ability to fly for the current room. Gotcha. Let's go find, let's go find a better room for that than this. Could use it to get a shield. Half a shield. That's not amazing. Oh. It might have... It has, like, kind of weird gravity-based bouncy bullets. Well... There we go. Whoops. And I clicked out of the game. Okay. I know I can make it. There we go. But we don't get anything. It's fine. I've got a lot of crystals. We could go out here. Let's see. I don't have any grenades. So I can't even go to the battle room. Well, let's go up. I don't think there's any solution on that one. So this kind of sucks. Uh, let's see what's required in the shop. Pretty bupkis. I was really hoping for more than this. Uh... Yeah, so I can't get that coin. But that's not a high priority here. Can't get this stuff. I got one key. Spending it on that's pointless, though. Uh... Okay, so we get a grenade. We get another grenade. Okay. We get destiny. Up to you or fate. Reroll your gun variables. Interesting. Probably better than flying. Okay. I have no idea how that controls. We've got a half heart over here. Yeah, because sometimes that laser wall just turns off. And sometimes it doesn't. I should probably... Uh, we could go for the key. But we could go for some of the other stuff. Only having one grenade is actually kind of limiting here. I was expecting better. I'm trying to I'm trying to eke out as much oomph as I can from this. Uh Is that worth it? I'm mixed feelings. This ain't worth it. Well, I'm not entirely sure how to throw grenades in a safe way to destroy that. So, I guess we lost it. I mean, I could go for that heart, but I don't think it's worth it. Tick, god of mobile videos. 
Uh, oh, I can I can shoot his little battery things. Which just pisses him off a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so he fires squares occasionally. Got it. And he's dead. So we get Devil Horns again. We get another one of these boss upgrades. And... Nothing else. Oh, I forgot. There are difficulty settings you can pick for this as well. So if you want to be... If you want an easier experience, you can get that. I actually rather appreciate that. I doubt I'm going to drop the difficulty. Uh, at least not for this one. Not yet. I turned on... Um, I turned on God Mode for Hades, which just reduced the damage a little bit so I could be lazier. Oh, I should have used my last grenade on the battle room. In the previous region. That's what I should have done. Or previous room, previous floor. I don't know. Hey, little bear. Fires bouncy bullets at enemies automatically. Good stuff. Let's see, one crystal for... Gosh, I don't even remember what these do. It's worth it. Oh, doesn't that, like... That changes something in the bottom... Bottom corner. That's all I remember that doing. Okay, it looks like there's some kind of pseudo-invisible thing over here. I'm not entirely sure what that was about. There was a dude that was, like, popping up there for, like, half a second, and then he disappeared. I guess it was nothing. Oh, it's those things. That's probably exactly what it was. Okay. Sometimes they pop out of the floor. But not always. And what do we got? Half a heart that we don't need. Well, it's good to not need half a heart. There's the boss. Could fight it immediately. Could go shopping. Don't think either of those are actually really worth my time. Because, yeah, I only have 22 coins. And I could fight the boss. But the bosses are hard enough that I'm not confident in my ability to beat them easily. Hello. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Let's go up first. I, that thing just kind of upsets me. Its existence is not great. I love the design. Ooh. He leveled up? Or I must have had an egg. Well, it's wor that's worth a key. Whatever, whatever you get from the item room is almost always worth it. Little pickaxe reveals all nearby hidden rooms. Hey, There's no guarantee I'm going to be able to get into them, but having them... Or at least having the knowledge of where they are is actually really helpful. Uh, let's go back up here. So I want to do the battle room. Don't have a grenade for it. Oh. Oh. Does that also mean we don't have to bomb our way in? Okay. So that's a silly amount of crystals, which gets me into the shop. There's a grenade there, but it's too expensive for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow a key. This was not worth it. I mean, we have a ton of HP, so that's a plus. Okay, that's pretty good. So, also it looks like gun... Uh, gun variables? Well... This was also not worth it. Is there nothing? Yeah, there's nothing else. All right. Uh, it looks like gun variables 
includes like multi shot and some other things, which is actually pretty good. I still don't think it was worth the loss of the the keys and therefore the damage, but I'm learning, and I don't know. Okay, you. So he's going to be firing a bunch of bu bouncing bullets, and we just have to find the safe spot. So I think he has a lower cannon that's going to fire? Hard to say. N no? Well, that was quite possibly the easiest boss. I'm probably going to run into this. Void coin. Hole in the world in your soul. Increase your weapon damage and rate of fire. Cool. I didn't get any grenades. I don't have anything else. That's sad. I want money. Give me cash. Okay. I would be remiss not to reroll the weapon variables whenever I get the chance. Yep. That's pretty good. Now, if I had a key, I could get into the battle room, which, I mean, seems like something I'm going to want access to. I don't know. I might not want to reroll this one. This actually seems pretty good. I got, like, big bullets and some other stuff. Okay. Yes, I am, in fact, recording. That's good. I don't usually record earlier in the day. Whoa. Something had... Oh, that shoots through the world. Stupid freaking bear. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't usually record earlier in the day because, you know. Well, I guess, I don't know. You guys might not know. It's just one of those, I'm not much of an early bird. I'm never, I never feel like I'm at 100% when I play, play early. And so I'm just mildly out of sorts whenever I, like, get started, uh, get started for the day. And then it's... You know, after about three, four hours, I start feeling better, more energetic, and a bunch of other things. I don't, I'm not going to be able to get up there. Gosh. Yeah, that weapon power to be able to fly uh, for the current room. Actually stupid good. Probably worth investing in. Oh, I can't even get the money? Oh, that sucks. I wanted that I want that money. Well, if we get a gun that gets gets me flight powers, I'll go for it. Cause that'll that'll be worth it. Let's see, we got an item room. We got this. I don't have much. But I need that grenade. Uh, that's not the best. Uh we got an item room. I think I'm going to go to the battle room first. We haven't done one of these yet, and I'd be remiss to not do so. Yeah, it seems like battle rooms are unequivocally worthwhile. Ow. Okay, so far so good. We get a quantum core. Increases your damage, adds shields, incredible source of power, no idea how it works. Alright, we get an egg. Yeah, always prioritize battle rooms no matter what. Another egg. And some coins. Plus whatever the heck's over here. We get carp streamer. Catches the wind like you. You can make an extra jump. <gasps> okay. So that means we can... Get access to a couple of things. I didn't get a key. Uh, what the heck is the chest? You're telling me there's a chest around here. Oh, right, right, right. Well, I got the money now. There we go. Two crystals gets me an egg, smidge of money, and nothing else. Uh, let's see, I don't have any keys. But I should be able to get to the money 
And the uh, the stone chest and some other things here. Yeah. Perfect. That better be worth it. It was... Eh, it was eh, approximately worth it. Alright. Give me a key. Nope. That's no key. Uh, let's see. We've got a... We've still got a harm room. I've got a lot of HP. A lot more than I was expecting. Let's keep crossing our fingers and hope for a key, but if we don't get if we don't get one, I'm not gonna be terribly heartbroken. Okay. I was not I was not ready for ghosts. Yeah, I can't get that one open. There's our key. I know we get a damage bonus for having more keys. Ow, walked right into that one. And that one. I didn't even know there was a dude on the ceiling. There is no longer a dude on the ceiling. But that was costly. Okay, get this. We could maybe go shopping, but I feel like we should probably wait until the next region. You want 70 gold before you really go in, unless you're really desperate, or it's free to go into. I do have a lot of crystals. Uh, let's see, so I got a harm room. Let's go back to the item room. We've still got a couple of rooms left that I haven't been into yet. Probably worth it. Nope. Well, let's hope we get a grenade launcher or something. I probably gonna kill myself if I get one, but it would certainly solve some of my resource issues. Hello. Air Force Metal. Increased weapon damage while you're in the air and cost of a crystal. Get another another one of these. I still don't know what those do. Okay. So I still got a harm room. Those have been inconsistently useful. Let's skip it. If I've got the uh if I've got the shields right now, it's probably not worth it. Okay, let's go fight the boss. I'm feeling pretty good. We've got a boatload of eggs. Block. God of bitter coin. I, okay, got it. Beast amulet. Brawl power, uh, brawl power and passion hard to control. Something, something. Uh, I can check. Okay, reduces your rate of fire, increases your weapon damage by a lot. Cool. I will. I got. Oh no, he probably stole money from me. I was like, I got money from him, but I don't think it actually earned me anything. This pickaxe is. Doing great work. These eggs. Give me that. Probably should have actually gone back and double checked for any crystals I missed. Whoops, I forgot. You think I would not forget? I'm gonna do it. Okay. I like the enemy variants, that they're not just kind of recolors, but they have slightly different patterns. Jack fires a bullet in all directions. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go this direction. I don't really know which is the right way. Not that it matters. Get rid of those. Get rid of the horror bear. There we go. Farewell, horror bear. And we get no egg. Man, double just having a double jump on this is massive. I appreciate it though. Like having movement movement tech that is just available uh, as like an upgrade system is quite nice. Been playing Gunfire Reborn an amount. 
And I like the game, but I really wish it was one of those where, you'd, like, you just occasionally unlock a double jump. Or, like, temp flight or something like that. Or just flight flight. Would probably break the game in a really bad way, but, you know, be cool. Okay, so we've still got... We've still got a jerk bear. Luckily, his aim's kind of bad. Okay, we're good. And then we've got the bomb canister. Jack, too, throws a bomb in random directions. Uh, is that something I have to be concerned about? Uh, we'll find out. Okay, so where are we going next? Let's go here, bottom right room. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find another battle room at some point. Ow. Well, did not go that proudly. Let's get in here, check the item room. Uh, we get an timer? Silver compass, reveal the truth. Shows all rooms on your map. Hey! I was grumping about navigation problems where I'm like, man, I kind of wish... I, I think I have this problem with a lot of... Ooh, big level. Uh, I have this problem with a lot of roguelikes where I'm just kind of like, I kind of wish I just had the whole map open. Uh, just so I wouldn't have to dilly-dally as much backtracking. But I, it's not that big of a deal. It's also one of those where this game has ample teleporters, Gungeon style. And that in and of itself makes a massive difference. Ooh, okay. Hatching failed. It's empty. That's fine. There was just stuff starting to go on on the screen, and it got spooky. Okay, hold up. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Hey. You get an egg. But I guess that probably ruins some of the mystery. I think I've just been spoiled by, like, Hades and Tower of Guns and a couple other roguelikes that I I personally am super into. Uh, where it's just like, there is no map, it's the, the path is entirely self-determined. Is it worth it for a stone chest? No. I can't get in, I can't get into the stone chest even if I wanted to. Okay, that's good. Jack 3 is really helpful. Alright, we do not have a grenade. I don't think I've squandered any yet. We'll see if I get one. Hopefully I will. Speaking of, we get a key and we get a grenade. Let's go bomb our way into the battle room. I got a lot of HP. You son of a... I wish I could actually tell Jack to bomb the heck out of it. Oh, is this... Nope. That's Jack's grenade. Okay. Well, I got the three crystals going here. Let's hope they have a grenade. They do. Uh, let's see. I don't really need a new gun. So I'm going to grab the slingshot, adds extra bullets per shot, increase your weapon's range, and grab another one of those. I don't need anything else. That was a good haul. Now let's go for the battle room. Hopefully that'll restock us on keys and grenades, but if it doesn't... But yeah, that's, that's mean that it takes two to, two to get in there. Huh. That spinny ball is interesting. It's throwing me off super hard. Okay, super logo. Stop your game, upgrade your weapon, increase jump height and movement speed slightly. Oh, there's a key. There's a nade. Another nade. Alright. More or less pays for itself. Okay, I think... I don't think there's too much left. Let's go back for the crystals. I don't think I'll generally buy guns from the shop. I was originally kind of hoping you could actually carry multiple guns with you, but I can understand why why you can't. Uh, let's see, where is Ah, here we go. But I don't think I'm going to generally buy guns 
Hunt's God of Racing. Okay. I think he just gets faster. Nope, he starts... I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's doing that. We get some broccoli. Uh, let's see. Adds a heart container. And otherwise, good stuff. Cool. Man, I just, it's going to be a little hard for me to keep a uh, consistent train of thought here, at least for a little while. Uh, let's see. What was I talking about? Oh, right. Trying new guns. Twins? Doubles your damage for the current room. That's real good. And it seems to be doing like a, a three-shot pattern, so it's probably worth it. But yeah, doubling your damage for the current room sounds like it would be amazing for boss fights. I just got to remember to do it. Not as easy as it, not as easy as it sounds. Ow. I have no idea if I killed it. I think I did. If that's what's going on. Yeah, all right, killed it. Ghost baby, penetrating bullets. Here's a strange sound coming from afar. So, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming that's some kind of world tendency situation where by filling up that meter in the bottom right, yeah, I've, maybe? Maybe we've got some kind of uh, like super beast that we'll have to worry about fighting or like a mid boss or maybe it maybe the boss has changed I don't rightly know okay it's just nope bad language and we're good Adam shoots enemies automatically. I like the eggs. It's gonna get a little distracting having this amount of egg eggmen following me around. Oh man, I'm gonna be kind of upset if we get to the end of this game and there is no Doctor Robotnik uh, reference egg. It could be so so cash. Just have little. Little Evo Robotnik just hanging around. Throwing badniks at things. I don't know. I'll make the rules. I just... I just want things. Hello? Rebel. Upgrade your weapon in the current room. Yeah, it seems worth it. The other one, I mean, double damage would be amazing. But freaking space lasers, man. I just, I gotta... Let's go shopping. This is the last level anyway. I'll pick this up. Whatever it is. Sturdy shield. Uh, let's see. Add shield. Some attacks will deal no damage to you. Hey. Uh, so we might want to pick up some more shields at some point. Yeah, so it's the final shot in the pattern. There's like a spread. I like. Back. Okay. Yeah, I'll go into the self-harm rooms if I don't have any... God, I hate calling them that. Curse rooms? Whoops. If I have no shields left. Is this worth it? Not yet. I'll probably want to go into them then. And there's just a lot of stuff... Gosh, I'm actually near death. Uh, there's actually just a lot of things that will spawn directly in on your heads. Heads? Head? Uh, I keep pressing F. I, I need to switch buttons for throw a grenade. You have shields, you can make another jump. But yeah, I, I had this complaint when I when I played this game 
Oh, he he's not dead. That's where I killed him. Uh, unfortunately, he probably when he was on fire, uh, he just looked considerably less visible. Uh, let's see. So, wow, we went from everything to nothing real quick. Well, going to be kind of embarrassing to get this far and then just choke right here right now, but that's the way it goes. Maybe I'll be okay. Okay, we don't get an egg. We have half a H. We have half a health. I don't have enough keys for that one. Okay, famine. Face your fear, summon a wooden barrel. Dang it. I like Rebel better. Oh, but we don't get the boost anymore. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the shop. Oh. We've got to deal with the devil looking room over there. That I can maybe get to. I'm going to... I'm going to gamble. Let's see. Because we don't have any other chests that I can get to that are going to do me any good. And we have two of these laser rooms. Well, I think we die. Yep, I die. Dang it. I was, I was really hoping we get another one of those HP rooms, but a room filled with just garbage lock chests? Ugh. Kill enough enemies, you'll drop extra hearts. Bonus, get a crown. Get these items for free in your next run. Hey. See, piano room. Walking around this room could create such beautiful music. Uh, let's see. Marked stone. Yeah, so I don't, unfortunately I don't think I have enough to unlock a lot of these. So a lot of these are item unlocks. Primarily. The more pets you have, the more times you can jump. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, let's see. Obvious hints. To the hidden room on only the second level, but still. Interesting. I like this. Hopefully I just get to hold on to those. Uh, and we have a free trial for that item. Hopefully I can just quit out of the game and come back and still keep it. For now, we're going to dance. All right. So this game is fantastic. Obviously, it choked right at the end there. Should have gone off to see the deal with the devil uh, or whatever the heck it was. But it is what it is. Uh, this dance music is actually kind of loud. So I'm not going to I'm not going to dance. Uh, anywho, I like this. I'm going to play a lot more. We're just it's going to take some time. Uh, and here's where I change the difficulty. What is this? Oh, maybe that's the daily. So yeah, we've got easy, normal, and hard. I wonder if those give us more resources or not, because that'd be cool. All right. Well, with that, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time, which will be very soon. Uh, if you're watching me live, because I'm gonna I'm gonna stream a bunch of this tonight.